So we know Group Captain Sudanshu Shukla is in space. We all saw the visuals today, but the question is, what is he really doing there? And what is this mission about? And also, why is this a turning point for the private sector space race? All of those questions I'll answer in this video, but a quick reminder to you to support us financially while we are at it. Okay, so the mission launched from the Kennedy Space uh, Center today. It's the SpaceX Falcon 9 Crew Dragon Capsule Grace and it will dock at the International Space Center uh, tomorrow, June 26th. It will spend 14 days there conducting experiments and then come back to Earth and the crew will splash down at the Pacific Ocean. A quick look at who the crew is. Commander Peggy Whitson is an American former NASA astronaut. Uh, the pilot, Group Captain Subanshu Shukla, India's first astronaut to go to the International Space Station, India's second astronaut since 1984. Look up your history books, remember? Sari Jahasi Acha. Also, there are two other specialists, mission specialists from Poland and Hungary, right? Uh, what is the mission goal? And that was what I was really curious about. One of it is national presence in space. So for India, Poland and Hungary, it establishes human space flight again. Uh, India come going back uh, after 40 years. Now, the scientific research, apparently 60 experiments will be conducted by 31 different countries in collaboration with a focus on human physiology, life, material sciences and earth observation. For India particularly, these are the Indian experiments that we're going to be conducting. Shukla will be experimenting on muscles, human muscles. He will apparently grow muscle stem cells in weightlessness to see how they rebuild and how their energy and their, uh, you know, their engines behave. The goal is to stop muscle loss in space or atrophy in space. The second one is Shukla is going to attempt to raise edible algae um, in space and see how they're fed different nutrients and if they can become sustainable food sources for future crews. The third one is seed sprouting. So he's going to try and grow green gram or moong dal and methi seeds in microgravity to see if we can actually breed our own plants in future missions. They will also try to grow water bears, you know, those tiny little bugs. Uh, they will test, he will test how they survive radiation, vacuum, freezing to figure out how to shield humans, crops and medicines in the future. He's also going to test tablets and screens and touch screens uh, for finger taps and eye movements actually in microgravity. And they're doing one test on diabetes uh, where doctors on earth are going to track blood sugar levels and see if glucose can be managed safe, safely, I beg your pardon, to see if future astronauts, if they have a diabetic problem or um, you know, um, you know, they depend on insulin. Can they still travel to space? Apparently, the findings could also improve diabetes care for patients on Earth as well. So this is what India's experiments are. But there are altogether 60 experiments by different countries that this team is going to be conducting. Um, it also apparently aims to demonstrate Axiom space uh, mission capabilities. Uh, you know, the commander is being hailed right now for global cooperation. And uh, there are lots of STEM demonstrations also that are going to be conducted. But there's an interesting angle to this entire mission the fact that it's a private sector mission and it's a key sort of turning point in the human space race from the private sector so let me give you the list of private companies involved axiom space is a private company um, it's the mission operator it has designed and coordinated the mission it has selected the crew and the experiments and it's handling private astronaut integration now the second one is spacex uh, SpaceX is the launch provider. It operates Falcon 9 Block 5 and the Crew Dragon Grace and the spacecraft which has taken the crew to orbit. There's another one called Burjil Holdings. This is a commercial research partner. It has sponsored the diabetes glucose regulation study abroad, aboard the International Space Station. And there are other collaborators as well. Uh, remember, NASA has a role here. It's provided the launch right, uh, the launch site, the docking rights, the uh, International Space Station operations, and the safety oversight. And of course, one of the big collaborators for the study is ISRO, India's own ISRO. Apart from that, is Hungary's and uh, Hungary and Poland's, uh, you know, space programs, plus Europe's program and NASA. So it's actually a collaboration of government organizations and private organizations as well. So this is, an, this is a very interesting point for us as well because we've sent an astronaut to space so it marks the fact that we've put a man in space after a while as a country, after 40 years to be precise. We're conducting interesting experiments at a time when our space program is really moving forward 
And this is the time when the world is sort of opening up to the possibility of the private space race being a really important player in actually putting humans in space. So now you know what Banshu Shukla is actually doing in space. Leave me a comment if you find this exciting or if there are more questions you have about humans in space and the future.